Hello everyone, my name is James White. I'm the social media manager here at Epic Flight Academy. And today I am here with Olivia Martin and Jed Stone. Olivia is one of our newest private pilots. She just literally soared through our private training. She completed it in 42 hours. And today we just wanna give you all some insight into a student perspective and how it is to kind of go through a private training process. And so Olivia, if you wouldn't mind just kind of telling us what it was to go through a private training here at Epic. Okay. So when I first um, discovered Epic, um, I, on the website I reached out to a recruiter. My recruiter helped me work through um, a lot of the paperwork and get me set up for an, um, a, a visit to the school here. And so that was when I was able to come in and meet with a lot of the people. We discussed what my training would look like, when we would be able to start, finances, things of that nature. And so that I did in October, actually, of last year, so of 2020. And then I was able to start my training in May of 2021. Okay. And so I attended the orientation. And I had already taken my ground school, actually. Um, I'm a student at Embry Riddle. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to take my ground school the previous spring semester, so this past spring semester. And so I came in with all of that done, and I was able to go straight into my flight training. And nice. that's when I got to meet Jed. And so we started working a lot through um, our main training at the beginning was with the Frasca SEM. Mm -hmm. And the full motion sim. The right? full motion sim. How was that? Tell us a little bit about that. That was a really good experience, and I definitely think it helped me in my training. Mm -hmm. So I was able to be familiarized with the whole aircraft and um, how everything works before I even got into an actual Cessna, mm -hmm. which I think definitely helped when we first did fly our first day. I actually knew kind of what I was doing, and then I like obviously I still had some assistance mm -hmm. from Jed, but I think I had a better idea. Definitely helps me with my maneuvers, I think. Yeah. Rather than having to go out and like it helps me be able to progress through it a lot uh, mm -hmm. more quickly. And then, how many hours would you say you did in the full motion set before you felt comfortable going into the actual flight? I think we did about 15 to 20 hours before we did our first flight. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that was like you first soloed after the 15 to 20 hours? Um, I think we did about 15 to 20 hours in the sim, and then we flew for just under 10 hours, and I think we had a couple more um, sim activities. Mm -hmm. So I probably had like 20 to 25 hours in the sim, and then 9 hours before, before I soloed. Okay, and then obviously, you know, Jed's incredible. Yes. Like, <laughs> what would Jed. you say like makes Jed such a great flight instructor? Or like, how did he really help you throughout the training that like, really stood out to you? I think what helped me the most from Jed was just he was always willing to like go the extra mile and help me understand the material better um mm -hmm. we would redo orals if I needed them because mm -hmm. maybe stuff wasn't clicking with me um say I had a bad day on the plane we'd be like okay you know what everyone has a bad day we're gonna come in on Saturday we're gonna get this knocked out don't worry about it and it just kind of I beat myself up on stuff like that yeah. so he was able to kind of assured me that I was going to be fine. I was going to figure it out. I, mm -hmm. I would get my new with sound and things of that nature. And then Jet, you know, Olivia, as fast as she got through the private training, you know, she's got the stars. Obviously, you know, she did yeah. a great job, had <laughs> excellent training. What would you say was so uh, unique or great about Olivia? Well, it was, it was amazing teaching Olivia. Um, definitely one of the best students I've had throughout my time as a flight instructor. Now it's coming to a close and I can look back and it's, it's been great working with Olivia, and it was great helping her achieve her goals of becoming a private pilot. Um, I could tell from the first time I met Olivia that she was a perfectionist. That's I knew the first time we got in the oil room, yeah. started talking, perfectionist. I, I knew she was going to do well. Um, she had the motivation um, more than I've seen before. She was just so motivated and such a hard worker that every time she showed up for an activity, she was prepared. And there was never a time she wasn't. That's great. Um, and then I know she mentioned that she kind of struggled with the maneuvers a little bit, but like right out of the gate, what did she really excel in? I think she really excelled with getting her procedures down. Um, learning how to how to fly, it's not just all right. You learn these maneuvers. Well, it's like now you have to. You're learning something completely new. Mm -hmm. Whereas there's all these procedures we go through when we set up to do a maneuver and throughout the maneuver to do it properly. Um, and I think something she did really well was to memorize those procedures. So that once you get in the aircraft and we introduce it or get in the sim and introduce it, 
Um, once you memorize those procedures, it makes it much easier. You're not thinking about what to do. Um, as you're doing it, you already know ahead of time. Um, so I think she did really well with that. And um, the overall talking with ATC, she was very quickly in, in learning the procedures with that, which was awesome. And so as you guys were flying together, do you have any like unique stories, any funny moments that like kind of you guys only know between each other? I don't kind of put you guys on the spot a little bit, but I don't know. Uh, can you think of any? I know like a lot of times during free flight we'd talk in like British accents. That yeah. was that was always interesting. Really? Can you uh, can you give us more British accents? Okay. Um, Hello. Hello. There's a few on the plane today. Did you shut the ties yet? <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm not gonna lie, I'm horrible at accents. So the fact that you guys can do that right now, already impressed. <laughs> Did you guys just kind of do that just to kind of you know lower down like anxiety a little bit? You know, just get comfortable with one another. Um, I think so. It wasn't really every time. I think it just kind of like sometimes I'd be like, all right, Jed, and then it just kind of went yeah. from there. So. Awesome. I yeah. think so. I like my my approach is. This it's all a lot of serious sometimes when you're flight instructing and when you're mm -hmm. when you're learning as a student. This is very kind of serious. I like to kind of cool things down. Just like mm -hmm. just have fun with it. Um, I love that just because you know so many students come here and you know they have a goal to make you know get through the training. But it's also important for like our students and even instructors to remember that like this is what we love to do, right? Mm -hmm. We have a passion for aviation, and at the end of the day, we do it because it's fun. Mm -hmm. You know. And I feel like some people sometimes forget about that. So it's really refreshing that you guys kind of, you know, kept in mind that it's like, we're still here to have a good time. So here to enjoy this experience, have a positive experience, you know? And Olivia, my last question for you will be, to any like potential students coming to Epic, what would be your advice to them? My advice to any new students would be, just when you step in that door, just anything else that's going on in your life, forget about it. You're you're here to fly and you're here to have fun. And that's probably one of the main things that I did. I know like some days when I struggled, I remember like I'm here to learn. I'm here to have a good time. And that's what I tried to do. Um, anytime I stepped in the door, all other issues just kind of went out the way. Awesome. And then Jed, what, what would you say? Yeah, I agree with Olivia completely. Um, just focus on the task at hand, really. Um, when you come here to learn, it's time to learn. So it's focus on what needs to be done and just be prepared for your lessons um, and have fun with it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing is this training, it's going to seem like it's a lot, but have fun with it. It's going to happen really quickly. So don't let that time go by too fast. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time, guys. And uh, thank you all for watching. And we hope uh, you found this insightful and we hope to see you all soon. Thank you. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.